So here is the DJI Ronin SC gimbal. Uh, available now in um, DJI outlets. I think they have one in in, in Trinoma. This is available online. I was able to purchase it for around um, for twenty one thousand seven hundred and. Uh, it comes into uh, two edition. There is a pro edition, which is which is more expensive by a, a few thousands than this basic uh, setup, basic edition. So here is the DJI Ronin SC, and inside the box you can find. This is the grip that doubles up as a tripod as well, like that. And you have the handle of the gimbal which uh, you attach to the tripod or the grip, the extra grip. <clears throat> and then you also have the by itself which you attach here to slide it in there and then there's a lock to keep it in place yep. That's it. and you also have this um, phone holder universal phone holder which you can use to attach on the hot shoe, uh, uh, hot shoe connection of your camera or you can attach it uh, here you can place it here so that you can connect can hold your uh, phone which is connected to the DJI Ronin SC okay. so, yeah. <clears throat> uh, inside the box which I already uh, removed you have these uh, you have the riser camera riser so this is how you attach your camera to the how to how you mount your camera to the DJI Ronin S gimbal so you you have uh, make sure that you already attach the camera riser and the quick release mount on your camera as well as this uh, um, support for the lens Okay, so all you have to do is slide the quick release mount on this part here like this and then you tighten the screw underneath so there um, I already did a balance test of this of the gimbal of the Ronin SC before, uh, and so this is already balanced with uh, my Canon EOS M50 uh, for tutorial on how to balance the gimbal the Ronin yeah, I already I learned how to balance the gimbal from the other youtubers who did a review and unboxing of the DJI Ronin SC one thing that you need to do first when, uh, once you set up your gimbal is to download the Ronin app from the iOS store or the Google Play store so in the in the Ronin app there, uh, there's an option to do a balance adjustment so there's a tutorial on how to balance all the axes the tilt the roll and the pan axis uh, you can test it and once you get an excellent rating for all the three axes uh, then that's a time that you can start using your DJI Ronin SC 
this is how you mount your phone uh, so once your phone is mounted or once your phone is connected with your DJI RON SE there's uh, some cool features that you can uh, do the create feature here so you can uh, use the virtual joystick use the virtual joystick you can do active track but you have in active track you have to place your phone on top of your camera so you can attach the the phone holder on the hot shoe rod of your camera and then place your phone so once it's placed correctly and you've balanced the gimbal you can use start using the active track um there's also force mobile which if you uh, which if you enable will allow you to control your gimbal see when you move your um phone it follows the direction where you move the phone so it's a cool feature force mobile uh, it can uh, detect the camera the gimbal and the camera f as for as far as 10 meters i think all right so the center plus there's also a fa panorama time lapse motion lapse and motion control feature i have yet to try out okay so that's it so stay tuned for uh, sample footages using the DJI Ron SE and my Canon EOS M50.